and welcome along to the channel. In this video, um, we're going to do a sort of Q&A. Over the past, I don't know, few months, people have been leaving comments. You guys have been leaving comments, actually, on the Facebook group and also on the YouTube channel as well. Yes. So, um, Tam's been baking today and making what sort of crumpier? Crump crumpier, <laughs> I'm making, a, uh, you know, a meal from scratch. So I don't have to go to So we've got shop. potatoes and cabbage and but, but meat. But cabbage, uh, potatoes and kale and uh -huh. some bacon and eggs. And I make it like a pie, potato pie. So it's not traditionally Bosnian, it's traditionally Tamra. Yes, it's traditionally Jambalaya pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, the weather's really good <clears throat> now, so hopefully we'll be travelling soon. <clears throat> and I've got a bit of a cough, but never And mind. David's leg feels much better. Yeah. Yesterday he went and his stitches have been removed. So Is that one of the questions? No. <laughs> okay. And uh, <laughs> and then uh, he needs to wear a f uh, plaster? No, plaster. Plaster for another two days. Pl plaster for two days and then he's good to go. I've got my stitches out. So we'll And he doesn't need any physical therapy because he's walking and he has the whole range of movements. Which is good because we don't want to be around the hospitals anymore. No, I'm sick due, and tired of hospitals. Due to COVID and we've been since July last year. Okay, so this is a very quick video with seven. Why, why does everybody have to do five top things, ten top things? We're going to do seven questions. Because seven is my liking number. Yeah, okay, and right. And my favourite so, number. So, first of all... Seven and, and number two. I'm not going to give people's names, but we'll get there. First of all... Are there many houses made of wood in Bosnia and Herzegovina? It seems that most houses are made of bricks. This is from Helga in Norway, so I'll give him his name. In Norway, 90% of the houses are made of wood. Houses are made of brick here, aren't they? Yes, they're mainly made of the brick or those large cement blocks, like grey things. Yeah, cement blocks. And they used to be made out of the wood, but not anymore. There are some old houses in some villages some old houses that were made of the wood, but they usually use now, now as a burns. And people don't make them usually made of wood. They, they maybe might make like a cottage. Like we, the one, weekend it's a... Like weekend it's a, like the one we have near our neighbor. Yeah. So they're, how they're, would you explain those in English? I, I don't know, they're more like um, weekend chalets. Yes, they, they made like chalets, but we don't make houses out of the wood. No, and people sink um, very deep foundations here because the ground does get particularly cold in winter doesn't it minus 25 mm. minus 30 so every house here has a big foundation and uh, how do you say the house that my brother used to have oh he had um you would call it a montage of yes we culture, have, uh, which is a, a ready-made house you know like when you order you just put the the, the, the um uh, the foundation down and they come along and they build it in a day. Yes, and I, I Germans think, call them Fertikäuser. Fertikäuser. Okay, I think these houses now are more popular than... Uh, Traditional houses? No, no, I mean they're getting more popular. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, most probably because of that. They're the getting money. more popular and people I think getting... It's a quick and cheaper solution than to build a whole house with the bricks. And they're very doable, like they can last for 100 years yeah. or something. And I don't think many people have companies, especially in the rural areas, to build. They build on it the, with themselves, don't they? And with friends and with experts. Yes, everything here was built by my dad and his Yeah, that, everything you see on our videos, um, Tam's father, Predrag, made. Okay, next one. Is Herzegovina a separate geographical area within Bosnia and Herzegovina? I think it is. It is. There's Bosnia... And Herzegovina. And, Herzegovina yes. and that's like when we go to Montenegro or when we go down to the southern part of the country, as we go through Gornia Vakuf and we go over that mountain, that's the start of Herzegovina, isn't it? So yes. Prozor is in northern Herzegovina and Trebinje mm -hmm. is in southern Herzegovina. No, I think Herzegovina starts from Jablanica. Do you think so? Yes. Not from Prozor. But it is a, de a different Prozor area. Is not in Herzegovina. And the area is most famous for its wine, yes. I would say. Yes, because they have a nice climate and they have lots of wineries there, L lots of orchards. How do you say? Vine vineyards. Vineyards, vineyards, vineyards yeah. <laughs> lots, of, lots of fruit down there. And the, the people are a bit, I hope if anybody from Herzegovina or who has family in Herzegovina doesn't mind us saying it, they're all bandits, right? No, they're not bandits. <laughs> Historically. Christ. Historical. No. But they're capable. Capable, very capable. Very, very capable people. So it is a separate area um, of the country. And this is about Banja Luka, your home city. What are the various cultures that made up in the past Banja Luka and the various cultures today? 
And second part of the question, what about the people living there? What are their occupations? Is it industry? Is it tourism, etc.? So after the Second World War, or historically before the Second World War, I think there were lots of Muslim people in, in Banyaluka, yes. yeah? and we also had Jews, Jewish people. Yeah, Jewish community, which Jewish is... Jewish community. Uh, we're going to be doing some, some information about that, but the Jewish com community is really s amazingly small now mm. compared to what it was. But I think it was mainly Muslim. Yes, right? mainly Muslim, yes. Um, um, after the, the Second World War, you were all communists. Yes. Even you. <laughs> Most of us. Mali Pionera. No, I was not. <laughs> um, but today, I think you would say that the major... It's still a multicultural city. There are Serbs, there are Croats, there are Muslims, and there yes. are minorities. But the uh, majority Jews. now are the Serbs, yes. Ma majority of, of the Serbs today. So there has been a bit of a shift, but that's, that's the way of life. And we are not too big on tourism. I don't think we are. Not at the moment. No. But there is... A, there is we've been watching a seminar... Um, at the moment and the country is looking to get more tourism going. It's a beautiful country. Yes, we used to have a big, People should come big factories it. back in the communism time. Yeah. That made TVs, that made... Uh, still we have Ljelsingrad, made steel factories. You were an industry city really. Yes, more <coughs> like an industry city, not like a tourism city. No. Not at all. But yeah, and today I think it's more... I don't know. Would you say economical region? I would say. Yeah, but it's not industry. It's not heavy industry now. It's more no. IT, banking. Yes, IT, banking, administration, uh, food, yeah, stuff like that. Um, this is one from close to home. How many dogs do you guys have? How many dogs do we guys have? Do we have yeah. the guys? We how many dogs? We have lots of animals. We have three dogs and we have three cats. And we decided in the future we're gonna stick with one dog. Yeah, because and it's, two cats. Yeah. So we have three dogs. We have the oldest dog is Linda. Linda, yes, and which Linda is from was, your uh, uh, from your niece. Yes, she was adopted from a shelter, and then she was living. She's my niece's dog, but uh, they will they used to live in the house, and now they moved out to the flat, so they couldn't keep Linda. So we took Linda. That's like, a few years, years ago, five years, five years, five ago, years back ago, I think something like that. And then we have a Pasovsko Isterski Gonić which is uh, Cooper. Cooper is a hunter's dog and we got him by mistake, but we love him. He's been with us for The story uh, was that years. we were in this actual room and it's we It's my mother's mistake. And we heard some because screeching. Because I would never ever have a hunting dog. It's so hard to train him and they kill chickens and they make lots of damage. But, but you still the he story were, he, We heard this screech. We thought a dog was being abused uh, and we walked up the hill and on the left we heard the noise and it wasn't he wasn't being abused it was a whole pack of gonich puppies who yes. were white almost yes. white in color and there was one who was of two colors and that was the he person he was the only one who was sticking out and making the noise siblings and making the noise and the neighbor was raising them and giving them to other hunters and when i saw him i instantly fall in love but i made a huge mistake because having a hunter's dog and you actually not being a hunter it's hard thing to raise, hard dog to raise. We had hard, hard a, time. A hard time with it. Yes, very but he's stubborn. Loving. We love Killing him. chickens, doesn't like sheep, attacking everything. That it's like not not a dog or a cat. But he's a sweet dog. He's a sweet dog. Yes. Now he's changed a lot, and we, we train him. him. We will never have it a took hunted us a dog long again. Time. No. And then last year, um, never no. <laughs> uh, a, a little, a tiny dog uh, came onto the property and just wanted to stay. Um, and your because dad... people have a, a, here people have this thing, they never nurture their dogs. So they have small puppies and they just drop them here. And in, uh, on, in the back of this, uh, this building, uh, there is like a bus stop where the... Uh, Kids go to school. Where, where the kids go to school. And this is where they usually drop puppies. That's where they usually drop them. And then this puppy came and walked into our garden. And I thought she was really sweet. And I wanted to keep her. So that's how we kept her. And we so gave we have this Phoebe. tiny dog, dog who's called Phoebe that you've most probably seen. Phoebe's not going to ever grow big. She's a, a real, real miniature dog. Yes, she is. And she's food for miniaturist puppies. <laughs> <laughs> and she... Uh, I don't think she's too much work. No, she's not. She's very clever, but she's very. Man she can be. She's a little manipulator. And she's very she jealous. She can get her way. Yes, and she's jealous. It always has to be her, her, her. Even uh, one of the cats needs to pat her, needs to lick her, needs to clean her. Otherwise, she goes mad. 
So she likes she likes being spoiled. So and we, she likes to be number one. So I suppose to be so honest. So we have Linda. Linda is a Labrador. She's been adopted from the shelter. Then she moved to our house from my niece to our house. Linda had really hard life, but now she's enjoying. She's almost fourteen. And then we have Cooper, and then we have Phoebe, and we have three cats as well. well we're not talking about the cats today. Cats have been adopted. Two cats, mm. and one cat is my dad's heel. So I, I think I think we can best best say, in a dysfunctional country, we're a dysfunctional family with dysfunctional pets. Yes, we have three dogs to end the question. And how many dogs do uh, Trappist monks have? I was Ooh. very surprised. We're going to we're going to do something about the Trappist monastery. We went to visit huge, the tra Trappist <laughs> monastery, and in their garden they had like seven dogs, which is good. Okay, next question. All right, you're not going to like this one. Okay. How did you guys meet? How did we meet? How did we meet? We met at the party. I was drunk as a skunk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we met at the party. Uh, do it party. quickly. Don't we, met, we met at a party, but I we didn't. Uh, Tam came up to say hello, but. I go, was listening go, to David Shaw. I used to show. I used to be a radio presenter on a radio station <clears throat> here. Anyway, so we had this gig, if you like. Um, you came up to say hello, but I was busy at the time, so that was that. And then I felt rather guilty about being uh, slightly arrogant, so I said, "Can we go for coffee?" And the rest is history. Yes. So David was a presenter on the AU for uh, Oxygen or S for then. Radio, the Oxygen radio station. FM ra radio station for young people and he had his show on Sundays and I used to listen to his show religiously religiously and then I just decided to meet him this guy has a nice voice <laughs> do I still have a nice voice and yes you do and the rest <laughs> is his story okay. um, we could we could make a whole video about this and we might one day but it is personal and I, I don't no. like no no something no, no. needs to stay personal yeah so the next ca question is uh, what are the rules to visit Bosnia and Herzegovina at the moment? It's the 24th of February 2021 when this is being recorded. So the rules, I, I think these are the rules. I haven't left Bosnia and Herzegovina for over a year now. But the rules is if you are a foreigner, for, for, foreigner and you want to visit Bosnia and Herzegovina, you need PCR test, not, not older than 48 hours. And uh, I don't know what countries need visa, but uh, most of the European countries do not need visa. You need a negative PCR test. You need a negative PTR, PCR test. If you, if you look online, you'll see the whole list of countries. But most people coming to this country, you get a 90-day visa Yes. anyway. Uh, 90 days in with, within any 180. But at the moment, you do need to have a negative PCR test issued within the last 48 hours. To, to enter the country and, yeah. and th there is no problem. We don't have a lockdown here because we simply cannot afford it. Everything is working shorter hours, but everything is uh, we have no lockdown. So you can still do things here. You need to wear a mask inside the, uh, the buildings, but outside, if it's not too many people, you don't have to wear a mask. So it's, it's, yes. it's, it, it's not as hard. Or but if you're planning place. to come to Bosnia and Herzegovina to get vaccine, you're not going to get one because we don't have them yet. No, we're getting them. We're getting um, them, yes. And finally, what is... I, we both have a, our own answer on this. What is your favourite place in Bosnia and Herzegovina to visit? My favourite place in Bosnia and Herzegovina? To visit. That's a hard question. Everything is nice. Uh, to the places where I've been to, I really like Mostar. I love Mostar, apart from my hometown, yes, of course. I'm, I, I will exclude my hometown, Banja Luka. Jajce, I love Jajce. Yeah. And I also like Krupa, Krupa the little uh, waterfalls. We go there really often because it's so near. And But definitely two places to visit for me are Mostar and Jajce. That's where I've been and visited. I, I think Sutjeska would be something to see, but we I never been there, so... That's the Sujetska. And we, we, actually, we were going to go to Sujetska National Park. Park. We um, will plan to go this year or maybe next year. We, we were going to go last year, but I broke my ankle. I think for me, I agree with you. I like Mostar. I love very Mostar. Much. Like when I go to Mostar, sorry to interrupt, it feels like I'm in Jerusalem. There's something there that stone, those old buildings that gives me that kind of. I'm somewhere. Oriental feel. Oriental feel, yes. I, I, it's beautiful, beautiful. I agree with you about Mostar. Um, but just outside Mostar, there's uh, Blagai, which is very, very small, but amazingly interesting to see and 
you know, that's, that stimulates the emotions. And I also like the very small village uh, of Pochito, which is also near Mostar. So Mostar, I is, been there. M Mostar is in Herzegovina, so I think Herzegovina is nice. Um, the whole country is beautiful, but there is something special about Herzegovina. I don't know what it is. There's, there is this... This stone, this nature is yeah. amazing, truly amazing. So, yeah. so different. Very nice. Um, yeah, for me it would be Mostar and Yait. I don't know. But we're going to be making a lot of content for 2021. Um, which will be on the blog, on the Facebook group, and uh, on YouTube, and Instagram as well, from the north of the country. We're going to really focus, razor, laser focus uh, on the north of the country, and hopefully encourage whoever's watching this, you, um, to want to come. And, and also Yahorin is nice, the mountain. Yeah, but I, th I think Yahorin is, the, the, the mountains outside Sarajevo, there are more, I think they are beautiful in the summer, but their pièce de résistance is the fact that that's where the skiing was yes. in the Olympics, it's and they really got beautiful. beautiful there in the winter. Yes. And they also have a summer trail, summer trail. Yeah. They have every year some competition, and that's really nice. And you can do lots of hiking there in the summer. You don't have to because I'm not into skiing, so I prefer to go in the spring or summer to do cool. th to do things in the mountains. <laughs> so that's our seven. That's the seven questions we got. I think we put an, an added one in there, um, and a few answers. If you do like the video and you're watching this on YouTube, just give us a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great. But thumbs up do make uh, a lot of difference. If you are watching this anywhere else, please give us a comment. Uh, you'll also see a link to the blog. You can ask us more questions and Hit then we'll that. post another video later. And if you want to find out all the good stuff, then you need to be on our newsletter and the links are below wherever you see that. Um, when are we going to eat this beautiful pita, this... What did you call it again? Jambalaya. This thing. jambalaya. When jambalaya. are we going to eat that? Means, I don't know. After I have my treatment. My medica oh, yeah, you're gonna medication. Have, Not have medication, my, my herbal stuff. I have to have this uh, aloe, aloe vera ointment. I drink that and then I have to wait 10 hours till I can eat. So. Okay. Are you hungry? Very hungry. <laughs> That's a good cue to disappear and um, have some lovely lunch. We'll catch you soon on the next one. Wherever you are, do stay safe. And, and see you later. And stay safe in these very challenging times, wherever you are. Yes, see you later. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs>